This video is sponsored by Hero Forge. How to GM your first game. Picture you, a beautiful, supple, very doomed GM. You're sweating, you're sweating all over the place. You're ready to start up your first game of dungeons and war crimes. You somehow managed to find some players, sacrificed your soul to resolve scheduling conflicts for the group, and everyone's ready to dive into your copyright-free world. Regrets? Don't worry. And yes, in case you haven't noticed, this time it's not Dingo at the mic, but me, Felix. Dingo is not here at the moment. Don't ask, stop asking. Anyway, I got a big list of stuff I wanna talk about, but for now, let's talk GMing. You wanna start off with a simple story. Don't be shooting for the moon here with your epic Game of Hobbit Thrones infinity laser sh Simplicity is what you need. Just grab yourself a pre-made adventure or make your own little quest. Oh, and don't get too attached because your players are going to mess it up anyway and kill that one NPC who was just a little old lady who I wrote a whole backstory for. Don't worry, you can get back at them by dishing out trauma like candy. But now comes the fun part. Anxiety! Once everyone sits down, get ready for the GM sweats, internal screaming, and get off your <laughs> phone, Lewis! Don't worry, this is perfectly normal, and if you're lucky, you won't have any allergic reactions to the rapid-fire math of combat. By the way, I'll talk about combat another time, but for now, just use official stat blocks and beware homebrew monsters. Unless you love suffering. <coughs> Other things to avoid for your first go at this beautiful disaster of a game. Number one, no evil alignments. I consider evil alignments as an advanced D&D topic. Doing them well is very difficult, and you need a party you can fully trust in order to avoid ending up in Crit Crab's videos. Cause we don't need to be angsty all the time, Lewis! Number two! No DMPC, as in Dungeon Master player character. This power is too tempting, and you will abuse it to live out your anime power fantasy. Stop it. Get some help. Focus on your NPCs instead. Number three! The Matt Mercer effect. Unless you have millions of dollars and his luscious, beautiful hair, your game won't be anything like Critical Role or other popular podcasts, and that's fine. Don't make a perfect game, make a fun game. If you're cringing super hard, you're doing it right. And that's probably all you gotta know to run your first game. Probably. Oh, and also go read the books, you nerd. But for now, remember the only way to win D&D is to have fun. Now get out there and roll some dice and get off your fucking phone, Lewis! Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to make more of these, or have some topic suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. Oh, um, fuck. How do you end these things? Um, yeah. That's my thing! I'm doing it right. This video is sponsored by Hero Forge. So Dingo has advertised Hero Forge before. But let me give you the proper lowdown. Hero Forge is a website where you make custom minis, like, very custom. Like, when... When would you ever use this? <laughs> They're 3D printed and can come pre-colored, saving your eyes from the tiny, tiny painting. And also they have layered leg clothing now. So like jeans with skirts. Welcome to 2005. So right now, if you use the code FOOLSGOLD, you can get 10% off color printed plastic minis. Use it soon because it's only available for a limited time. Anyway, I think they have some pretty sweet stuff. So go check them out, link down below.